So this right here is my little apartment, you know. Now I do share this place with a roommate of mine. So as I was lying down here, you know, a thought kind of crossed my mind. I was thinking, guys who generally take care of themselves, I mean, from the way you look, from your skin to your body, you know, drinking enough water, working out and so forth, are the ones that make it in life, are the ones that end up being quite successful. I was also thinking, you know, a man who cleans his own room, who basically does his bed, you know, this is one lesson I learned from my mom as a kid. She always said, as soon as your feet hit the ground in the morning, you should turn around and make your bed. That was a life lesson that I took with me all through into my adulthood. You know, I heard as well that Nelson Mandela, although he was locked up in Robben Island in prison, which was in the Western Cape, South Africa, every night rather, he would put his shoes nicely packed into the corner. He would fold his shirt or pants or whatever that was before he went to bed. And in the morning, he would do the same as well with his linen, with his shoes, with his clothes or whatever uniform he had. This says a lot about a man, a man who takes care of little things like that can take care of big business. In fact, to look at some of your most successful men out there, these are men that are very meticulous, that are in order. I just watched an interview with Mr. Beast and he was asked, what is he going to be doing in the next three weeks? And he, and he was like, you know what? My calendar is booked up until the end of the year. This was about four or five months from when the interview was being done up until the end of the year, which means he had already planned each and every day, each and every project weeks and months in advance. Now I was thinking the men that generally make it in the public eye or in industry, a lot of them are gay men. And these are also the men that are also made fun of for being uh, maybe clean, meticulous, dressing a certain way, you know, fixing up their rooms, putting decorations and so forth. They gay, but it is also known that most gay guys are clean compared to your regular young dude, you know, high school, college dude, or a men's man, or whatever that may be. So, for example, I live here with my roommate. Now he's a cool guy, you know, just a young man doing his thing, but he's like many other roommates that I've shared uh, an apartment with. I mean, he just basically leaves his bed undone, goes to work has his playstation or xbox joystick hanging around you know his chargers are still plugged in now this is nothing against him but i've also known other guys who are very very opposite to this you know who take care of themselves who clean their apartments and if i can look at both of their lives the guys who take care of their apartments are the ones with ambitions dreams who want to do things bigger than them who want to open businesses and become independent who want to become millionaires at the age of 25 i know a guy a friend of mine who takes out time to go on Amazon. He shops for, you know, things like, you know, little lights for his room, uh, rugs and so forth. This also happens to be the very same guy who wants to become a millionaire by the time he hits 25. And I've got no doubt in my mind, he is going to make it and he's going to be rich. I, on the other hand, also happen to be one of those guys, you know, I like to take care of my apartment, my room and so forth. Now, I'll be honest, uh, as of late, I've slacked a bit, you know, I just went on vacation, came back. I've still been in vacation mode, but I decided, you know what, let me make my room, let me clean the place, you know, like they say, cleanliness is next to godliness. I think it what it should actually mean is cleanliness is next to everything that's good. And I guess that's why people say godliness. So basically, that's what I'm going to do. Sweep my room, turn my bed upside down, make sure everything is in order, put my laptop on the table, use it like a proper adult, not while slouching on the couch or laying on the bed or anything like that. And I'm going to get to my other projects and make sure I get that money and I'll be off to the races and I will be a millionaire.